hello hello my babies welcome to my video my name is simon red and you're watching simon red tarot and today i'm coming back with another pick a car read and so today's pick a car read is going to be what makes you attractive so we're going to look at what makes you attractive okay moment when i set up here <sighs> i'm just a little tired guys just a little tired how are you guys though? I miss you guys as I always do. I always miss you guys. I always want to talk to you guys. I've been taking a bit of a hiatus from YouTube. I don't know. I haven't been in a reading spirit. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, I just feel like I haven't been in a reading spirit. And I'm not all the way there yet today, but um, I'm good enough to give you a reading. But like, sometimes I just need like a really break. Uh, like, and sometimes a day not long enough. Sometimes I need like a week. Like, I don't know. Because sometimes I feel like today's week is gonna be what makes you attractive. But but yeah, sometimes I don't know. I just don't I don't be feeling it. And I feel like if I try to force myself to read, it's inauthentic. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I don't I'd rather not read and lose money or whatever. Or views or whatever my sacrifice is. And force myself to read and not give y'all a basic reading because I'm speeding through it because I'm either tired or like I really can't connect how I want to because I'm just like I don't know how to explain it but I just I have to be a hundred I have to be a hundred percent or at least ninety five percent to read so I'd rather just not read at all. That's what I need a card for. So that's what I got to do my research on. Because what day am I going to be using to be paying out of? Because I don't necessarily want to use Chase. I think I might use her on it. to the summertime because I'm trying to get my shit together for my businesses and everything I got going on so it's like it's like a nightmare right now I'm not gonna lie
even do the funk sway good in here. And it's crazy because I will really wait until it's time for me to go to bed to do shit. Like, I won't do shit all day, which I did. And today was fucking wonderful. Like, I sat on the couch. I did, like, I did some YouTube uh, scheduling for my other YouTube channel. And I did some Pinterest. And I cleared my phone of a lot of content because I have so much content from all my businesses. So, I made some Pinterest boards. And I um, cleared my phone of my content. Made sure it was on all my platforms and stuff like that. So, it was a good day. It was a good day. I did get a lot done. Like, I got a lot of, like, little shit. Like, I didn't get none of the big shit done today. I feel like I'll get that done during the week. But I got done a lot of the little shit that I'm trying to do. Like, you know, it's like all the little shit. And I'll be finished some more little shit right before I go to bed. Like, scheduling my post for tomorrow and finding the right captions and all that shit. So, that's not going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm excited for that. And, like, you know, doing the stuff for my cheeks. And then this week I have to find, I have to finish all the big shit. But I did get a lot of little shit done. But I also got to watch movies and I got to watch series um, and stuff like that. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm super happy about that, actually. Super duper happy. I got to, um, I watched Becoming Anna or Created Anna. Did y'all ever see that on YouTube? Uh, um, Netflix is really good. It's a really good show. So I watched that all together. Then I watched like a couple other like random movies and stuff like that. But I got so much done. Like so much of the little shit that I don't want to do, I got done. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm happy about that. So that is cool. But with that being said, let's see why people are attracted to you on the pile number one. Why are people attracted to pile number one? First of all, you're a fucking heartthrob. And people are nervous. So, this is my alpha male, alpha female. Very stern. Very, um... Uh, okay, very stern, very boss, very boss type energy, very independent type energy. Not independent in the sense where it's a bad, like you overly independent, but like in a sense, like people know, one more card, please, spirit. People know, like before they're approaching you, like they know they got had shit together. Like this is not somebody who's like, oh yeah, they're gonna struggle with me or he's gonna struggle with me type of energy. Like this is like, I need to have my shit together before I even come talk to this person because if my shit's not together, they're not gonna fuck with me type of energy so this this person these people people are attracted to you because they know they have to be there first of all with tact with attack uh, they know they have to be their motherfucking best self to even get next to you if they're not their best self they're not getting next to you right so you inspire people to level up you inspire people to be better because if they aren't better they can't get next to you and that's what they really want you get what i'm saying so that's why people are attracted to they feel like you bring the best out of them then you have the wisdom card so people are attracted to you because they feel like they can learn from you they feel like being with you is a level up not only because of your physical beauty or your physical handsome handsomeness or whatever but also because like your mindset and the places that you're going in life and the things that you want in life you know this is the way you think they feel like the way you think uh, the way that you talk and think they can tell that like your mindset is different and your um they can tell that your mindset is different they can tell that um They can tell that your mindset is different. They can tell that you're, um, They can tell that your mindset is different. They can tell that the way you go about things is different and things like of that nature. So they feel, so a lot of people are saying, um, a lot of people are saying they can learn from you. A lot of people are saying they can learn from you. A lot of people are saying they can. A lot of people are saying they can. They can learn from you. A lot of people are saying that. 
a lot of people are saying they can learn from you. A lot of people are saying that they're going to, that, that you're going to love them up in some type of way. People feel like you know a lot. They feel like you know a lot about either a specific subject or multiple subjects. But like, I feel like a lot of people who are attracted to you, I'm not going to lie, are either a bit younger than you or a bit like behind in you in life. And they feel like, it's like, okay. You know how Rihanna with ASAP Rocky? I don't feel like uh like this. I'm just using that as an example because I don't I like her with ASAP Rocky. We all make her happy, happy. But you know how Rihanna? Well, technically, financially, she's way ahead of of ASAP Rocky, and everybody's like, oh yeah, well, yeah, he's he can level up now. He's with one of the richest women in the world. You get what I'm saying? And that is true. So he can either learn from that and propel his career forward, or now because people talk about it in the blogs, this is the best time for him to come out with something. I don't think they're thinking like that, but I'm just saying like. That that puts ASAP Rocky at a different level of status. You get what I'm saying? At a different level of status. So people who didn't know who he was know who he is now. It's not many people who don't know who Rihanna is. You get what I'm saying? So it's just it, it it's like people f look at you at, in that way, whether you're a male or a female, they feel like you're gonna be some type of level up to them, right? The next card we got out is wait and see. So with the wait and see card, what I'm seeing with this is like people, like I'm not going to lie, pal, no one. I'm not saying that people are out to use you, but I'm saying make sure you vet carefully who's in your life and who's around you, who wants to be around you, who wants to talk to you, who wants to be with you and things like that. Make sure, make sure um, you're vetting very much, very properly. Or vetting properly because the thing about this, what I'm seeing with this pile number one is I feel, I feel like, I feel like people think that they see you going somewhere in life or headed somewhere in life in the direction that you're headed. They feel like eventually it's going to pay off somehow and it's going to it's going to it's going to propel in big ways and they can't they want to be next to you when it happens they don't want to a lot of people are attracted to you because they see that you're doing something that kind of seemingly is impossible or they feel like you have the potential to do something that's impossible and and that could really that could be for some people where you, i don't know where you live but for some people that could literally just be going to college or getting a job like something something like that right so they know that Whoever is with you in your circle, wherever you're going, whether that be spiritually, financially, uh, popularity-wise, they're going to be just fine. So they're going to be next to you. So people are attracted to you in that way. People are really mostly attracted to you because they feel like you'll make their life better in any, in, in, um, in any ways. People are attracted to you because they feel like you live a good life. They feel like you love luxurious things. You do luxurious things. You're always around luxurious things. And because you're always around these luxurious things and doing these luxurious things, they want to taste of that. They want to know like what they, it kind of gets them interested in it. It's kind of like, okay, like, and again, I tell you about myself to tell, help y'all with yours, right? Before, I didn't really like luxury shit until I met my twin flame. Like, I never was, like, I always liked luxury shit, but I never, like, really experienced, like, luxury shit. Like, I never really experienced being able to do whatever you want to do and not worrying about the cost. And, like, I never really experienced going to nice places, like, on a drop of a dime or, like, getting flown. I didn't know about those things, right? But when I met my twin flame, he took me to do those things. And ever since then, even though we, you know, we, we, we wasn't meant to, you know, stay, I still treat myself like that. You get what I'm saying? And from when I, when I treat myself like that and I'm taking people, my friends and my family or a guy I'm dating, I'm like, oh, I like to do this. Or I like to do that. They're like, what? You like to do it? Like, that's weird. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like in a sense, that's how you are. So maybe you guys like art. Maybe you guys like nice restaurants. Or maybe you guys like exotic experiences, travel, whatever it is. It's like, it's like a fairy tale world to them, but honestly you know and i know that you can really experience luxury on a on a on a budget you know what i'm saying on a budget you could really experience luxury without having to spend so much money like you would go like the people think that these fancy nice restaurants cost so much money and some of them do but a lot of them don't you can get a nice like decent meal for like 50 dollars at a lot of these nice five-star restaurants you get what i'm saying so what I, what i say to that what i'm saying to that is this people look at you and they see 
new. They see experience. They see excitement. They see things that they, they see fairy tale. They see, they see things that they never thought they would be able to see, if that makes sense. Like they see things, they're, they're, they're thinking like, yo, I never thought I'd be able to experience this. I've never thought I'd be able to, 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 to be this type. You know, like they just feel, They feel like they never thought they would be able to experience the type of things that they're able to experience. And because they're able to experience it with you, it's like, it's very much, um, it's very much, it is very much exciting it's very much exciting like when people look at you they want a long-term partner they want to be with you until the partners in crime like this is why i say power number one i feel like some of you guys i feel like some scorpio sagittarius leo Taurus, and i'm getting a big gemini energy it don't have to be but those might be some signs or some clues somebody likes cats somebody might have an orange cat what do they call it? tabby cats or something like that somebody might be from new york i'm also seeing apples and pears or something like that i think it's giving me a lot of cues because it's an important message i feel like right now a lot of people like you or are attracted to you aesthetically i feel like you're a great person great personality but most of the people a lot of the people who were in your life before you started whatever level up or whatever the fuck you were doing those are the people who really are attracted to you for you but i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of people coming into this this reading that are attracted to you because of what they think you are and what they think you got going on you get what i'm saying so what, whatever they think you are and think you got going on that's why they're attracted to you okay So I feel like just be careful vetting. Be very careful vetting with people who keep. Be very careful with people vetting on who like if they really want to be your friend or if they're there or they're along for the ride or the ride they think they're gonna get or something like that. Cause like. I don't know. You could just be well put together. Like people, people assume that you got this and this and that, but literally you could just be well put together, right? So just, just be very careful with whoever you're inviting in your life. Be very careful with whoever you're talking to. Just be very, just be very careful. My power number um, ones. Just be very careful, my power number ones. Okay. Be careful. But with that being said, that is your reading part number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information in the description box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comments below. With that being said, I'm going to move on to the next card. Why are people attracted to my pile number twos? So your pile, let me see. I didn't show pile number one, but I show you y'all's. So your pile is a little bit different than my pile number ones. Well, it's a lot bit different. Why people are attracted to you is people are attracted to you. People are attracted to you because you're you must be wild. I'm getting very much Scorpio, not even no Cancer, Taurus, Leo, who else? Sag, really big Cancer energy in here. People are attracted to you because you fucking toxic. People love that back and forth. Maybe you guys are so, like some of you guys are really like people be thinking y'all playing a game, but y'all might really be like this. Like some of you guys are really affectionate sometimes and then really cold the other time. So you'll be like, oh, you know what? I, I really, really like you today, but if tomorrow you cannot like somebody. Like, but I don't even think that I don't even think that it's always a I feel like some of you guys probably should go to therapy, but I feel like it, and then I think that some of you guys are playing a game like that on purpose. But I think a lot of you guys, especially if you're a cancer, 
I don't think these guys are even really playing a game. I feel like I feel like you guys are just like that. Like I feel like sometimes I feel like you're the type of person that's like very much like oh I'm, I'm focused on myself, I'm focused on my spirituality, I'm focused on my finances, I'm focused on me, me, me. But sometimes I need a break, so I'll go be in love and be affectionate and, and get that attention and shit like that. But when I'm done, I'm back to working. When I'm working and working, so when I'm that, when I got free time, it's like uh, it sounds so bad, but it's, I don't I don't blame y'all. It's like you guys treat people as a free time. Like if I got free time to go on our dates and, and show love and be la da da I'll do it but I'm really more so focused on myself but people like it because it's like it, it, it humbles people it humbles people and it makes people feel like oh because a lot of listen people don't like things that are easy like they do like things that are easy but they don't like pe things that are easy because when people something is too easy or something is too predictable or like you know something is not stimulating people are going to get bored of that people gonna get bored of that because it's like i already know what's going to happen and shit like that i already know what's going to happen so it's no reason I, it's no point in me even trying or or because i already know what's going to happen so i'm bored of it now so, so it's like you give people a sense of excitement they never really know what you got going on somebody somebody might have a, a gemini moon or gemini someone or truck like it's like you're very much back and forth feet and it is a little toxic i'm not gonna lie but i don't think that you mean to hurt anyone's feelings i think that's just how you are then we have the um appearance card so what i'm saying with this is like but people what makes people check this about you is you don't take no shit you're not going to take no shit so as soon as you see things that are not working out or you see things that are, are getting on your nerves or, or like people not respecting your boundaries you're leaving you're leaving that situation to a good situation you only put yourself in good situations and you don't allow yourself to stay in bad situations and that's what makes people more attracted to you because it's like you're people are attracted to things like people are attracted to respect people are attracted to charisma people are attracted to people who People who, who love themselves. If you love yourself, people will love you. You know what I'm saying? The right people will love you. So people are attracted to that confidence that you really don't need anybody. Like anybody who is there is this they, is, it can be there, but it can be gone tomorrow without a problem. Then you have vitality. So what I'm saying with this vitality card is this, my babies, is this. Um what I'm saying is this, um, People are attracted to the fact that you'll stand up for yourself. You'll stand up for the things that you want. Like, yes, you'll leave a toxic situation in a, in a minute. In a, to, in a minute, you'll leave a toxic situation and be like, you know what? I'm cool. Fuck this situation. Like, everyone's getting on my nerves. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. I really don't. Like, it's cool, right? But then, with the vitality card, you'll literally be like, listen, hey, I am... I Okay, you'll literally be like, okay, listen, I am... um." I don't like what you said, and yes, I'm loving light, but you're not going to talk to me like that. Because if you want to, we can go outside. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you, like, people are attracted to that feistiness about you. Like, you have respect for yourself, and you don't tolerate nonsense, and you don't put yourself in negative situations and stuff like that, which makes you attractive because you don't take no shit. But at the same time, you're not going to let nobody walk all over you. You're going to stand in your power. You're going to say what you got to say. You're going to be hurt. And if nobody wants to hear you, then you're, they're just not the one for you, or they're they're not worthy of being your friend and stuff like that you really literally care about. you're you're basically a, a bitch or a, a asshole but like in a good way like a, a boundary setting good way a boundary setting healthy type of way right then you have no need no need to do so with the no need to do car is this like what i'm feeling with this is is people really uh, are attracted to you because you have effortless like you, you're so much into yourself and so much love into yourself that you don't feel the need to impress nobody you don't feel the need to be something you don't want to be you don't feel the need to say things you don't want to say you don't feel the need to overdo it all you feel the need to do is be yourself and you know that by being yourself you'll get everything and be everything that you want to be so it's no reason to be anything different right so people really admire that about you because they're like because a lot of people well a lot of people are afraid to do the most is be their fucking self a lot of people are so afraid to be themselves because they're so worried about people liking them they're so worried about getting by in life they're so worried about being accepted right motherfuckers who listen people who want to be accepted and be in a herd never do anything great it's those motherfucking black sheep it's those people who do not care because look at kanye west for example that motherfucker is crazy but look at him he's different he's not cool he's not going to do what everybody else normally does but he's selling millions and billions of dollars he's a billionaire now you know what i'm saying his his ex-wife billionaire you know kim is not she's she's been made fun of and she's different she does shit differently but she's a billionaire an icon you know what i'm saying 
when she dies, people are going to be upset. When Kanye dies, people are going to be upset. People are going to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? And just like, and even on a lower scale, it's like if you ever look at people in families where everybody in their family did the same shit, they live the same life, and you got that one cousin that everybody watching on Facebook, and that bitch is traveling. She got a fucking baby daddy, but she done left this nigga with the kids. Like, yes, you know, I'm not saying like that, but I'm just saying like, or like she might have a successful marriage or whatever she has, it just look fun as hell, and you're just like, yo. I'm literally sitting here at this job I hate with this fucking life I hate and I'm miserable and I'm tired and I'm 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 overweight and I'm just I'm just throwing my life away. She is bitches on a yacht. So you get what I'm saying? It's like it's it's giving that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh you you give that carefree energy and people are really attracted to that because they want to be that. Okay, your last car out was follow my heart. So what people are really attracted about is you are excitement, you are fun, you are thrill, you are you are listen, whatever I want to do, whatever makes me happy, whatever floats my boat is what I'm gonna do. You know that life is short and you live it to the fullest, and that always makes people want to treat child to you. So when people are attracted to you mostly because they envy you, mostly because they wish they were like you mostly because people wish they could could do the things that you do when they don't they don't know that they can for some reason people don't think they can do whatever they want to do but you're one of those people those special people who know who they, they can do who whatever they want to be and they can be whoever they want to be and people are really attracted to that and they want to be around it they want to be around it but with that being said, that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you are interested in a person reading, that information in the description box below. If you are interested in my, a free reading, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And I'll be I'll be picking another winner when we hit 4,700 subscribers. So you might want to leave your uh, red hearts in the comment section. Leave your red hearts in the comment section. I think I'm going to do it on, um, I think I missed a couple, so I'm probably going to give out two, I'm going to look and see where I left off at, because I do be slacking on that, but y'all got to, y'all should remind me, because I don't even be noticing when the thing go up, because I'm not really watching the subscriber count, like I am, but I don't, I don't be thinking it's going to go up that fast, so it's like, I don't be thinking like, oh, tomorrow, I, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't be thinking it's going to go that fast, but yeah, it's okay to comment, like, hey, we hit, what you call it, you know, and I, because I'm not perfect, but I don't think I'm going to look and see, like, you can leave it there, can I? Okay. Um, I'm gonna look and see what I got going on up there tomorrow and catch up. I gotta do y'all subliminals tonight before I go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I gotta do my Instagram posts. Then I gotta do my subliminals and I gotta pack orders and shit and pack my lunch. But all that should take me like an hour and a half. I should be to be by twelve. Then get up and get through this fucking work week, y'all. I'm struggling. I cannot wait until all my passive income, all my income start coming in and piling up. And I can be home. It's going to be lit. Okay, let's see what makes people attracted to you. So, what I'm seeing here for your first card out pile number one is this. So, let's see. Grab your grab your own butt. Love yourself. So, what people are why people are so attracted to you is because you're a cocky motherfucker. You're attracted to yourself. Some of you guys are always in the mirror. Always, but some of you guys might have just started recently working off. Some of you guys probably got really nice legs, really nice butt, or whatever. Even if you're a guy, because us females, we do like a nice butt to a nice little, uh, you know, muscle, muscular butt won't hurt. Uh, some of you guys uh, work out. Some of you guys really take care of your body, drink your water, eat your healthy foods and stuff like that. And they can see it all in your, they can see it all in like how your, they can see it all in your body. They can see it all in your body. So they're, so people are saying like they're really attracted to you because of the way you physically look and the way you physically take care of your body right your next card out is this we have the courage card courage is knowing it might hurt and doing it anyway stupidity is the same and that's why life is hard so what i'm seeing with this pile number two is you're a little bit uh i don't want to say gullible but like a little bit um is it i don't know what's the word it's not really gullible it's it's um What's the word? It's like right into my tongue. I hear somebody saying it, but I like they're saying it faintly because they don't want to believe it. What are you all saying though, guys? 
<sighs> I can't remember the word right now, but it's not gullible. It's not gullible, because I don't want to say you guys are gullible, but you guys are very much... I'm not even, not even easily impressed, but you guys still got that. You know how when you're a child, because I don't even want to say that, because I don't feel like you guys are childish. But you know, like when you're a child and you think about stuff, you think about doing stuff and you just do it because, or like somebody tells you something, you believe it, and you, even if it's not true, like it's like you have a, you have that childlike excitement about you, that childlike benefit of the doubt, that childlike, like oh, it's not gullible. What is the fucking word? Like you guys know, but. Like, I feel like sometimes it can make you vulnerable, but then sometimes it can turn out good for you. Because I have it too, but I can't think of what it is. But, like, I don't do it with everybody. I just with some people, right? It's like you can literally, um, oh, I can't think of the word, y'all. But it's like you are you are not bitter. I feel like you guys might have been, even if you guys got hurt in the past, beat down, portrayed, whatever, you still have that glimmer, that childlike glimmer of hope in you. So you're not always pessimistic you're not always negative about people and because you're not that way what happens is you give people chances and then people are like you know what i could either take advantage of this person who i know is gullible that's not the word i want to use but i can't think of the other one right i could either take advantage of this person I, that i think is, gull is gullible or i know might not know what's really going on or might not care or you know what i'm saying um, or I could be take this I could take this chance to be a better person because this person is giving me a chance, right? So that's what ends up happening. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers. I feel like y'all the type that can date somebody and everybody could be like, yo, how is this person dating this person? This person is literally a whore. For everybody else, this man has cheated on everybody else, but he has not cheated on her. For this, for this, for this man, like this girl, she she's a gold digger. She's a she's a man eater. But for her, like he got her acting like a sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is you come into things with a realization that everyone in our, everyone in the world is good. Everyone in the world wants to help. Everyone in the world. So, therefore, that's what you attract because that's what you are. You know what's crazy about part number three? For, and I always like to, I like to talk to y'all like we on a FaceTime call, right? So, the crazy thing about what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to say right now is like, the thing is, people think that you protect yourself by being cold and being like, oh, this person's going to hurt me and, and people are going to do stuff to me and everybody's so evil. And, and, and that may be so. That may be so, my babies. That may be so. But at the same time, a lot of the times, if people will be good to you out of feeling sorry for the fact that you think that people will be good to you. And that has worked for me a lot of times. So a lot of the times, like people has been like people have seen so much of a pure heart in you, pile number three. It's like for them to fucking try to hurt you, it's like it would be like what the fuck am i a monster and, and deep down the side i feel like there are monsters on this world there are a lot of monsters there are a lot of evil people but for the most part unless most of us have an entity on us or some type of mental illness a lot of motherfuckers are good you guys say a lot of motherfuckers just want to survive a lot of motherfuckers just want to be happy it's not a lot of people going around the world that's like oh i want to hurt like it's a it's a it's a big percentage it's a it's a percentage but majority of people i feel like if you meet 10 people only probably one of them is going to be a killer like and that's even a stretch you get what i'm saying so it's like a lot of people are looking to hurt people but people end up hurting people trying to protect themselves but it's like when they meet you they're like this person is really pure of heart this person is really a good friend this person is really a good girlfriend so for me to do anything that would be on me and i'm not a monster i don't want to be a monster and this person doesn't make me want to be a monster and that's what makes people attracted to you because they feel like they can let their guard down finally you get what i'm saying right and i know that was a lot but that was important for us to say because they they they, I, they want you to know that you're really a bright a, a bright light in some people's lives okay so now you have stop trying to skip the fucking struggle so what people really like about you is because that you know even if you are struggling and stuff like that you won't show it you won't bring down the room you're not gonna be like yo fuck life fuck god da, da, da. You're gonna be like, you know what it's cool i'll get through it you're like you're very optimistic and, and happy about your life and you know that things will happen when it's time to happen and things like that so people would like to be on your cheerful attitude then you have thou shall not judge because thou has fucked up before too so what people really attract about you is the fact that you are very humble you don't think yourself any better than nobody a lot of you guys might get like people saying like oh i can't believe that you're talking to me because you're so pretty or i can't believe you're talking to me because you're so handsome and you get this and you get that and that. but you think of yourself as a regular not a regular person but because i don't never want to use regular but like you think of yourself as 
you think of yourself as someone who is very much you think of yourself very you think of yourself as someone who is very much in in love with the fact that you're everyone has everyone has it's like not everyone is equal everyone is somebody you get what i'm saying like you're very much do you know how they always got that saying as i treat the ceo as the janitor like that's how you are like you, you look at everyone as a fucking person not as a status or not as a dollar sign you look at everyone as a person you look at yourself like that so you never feel like okay i could be a billionaire but it doesn't mean i can't hold the door for the person behind me when i'm walking into a restaurant yeah i'm a billionaire but that doesn't mean i treat the waitress like shit yeah i'm a yeah yeah I'm really pretty but that doesn't mean i talk to someone who is deemed lesser i can't talk to someone who's deemed less is attractive that doesn't mean i can't have friends of all colors shapes and sizes you know what I'm saying like you don't you don't, and then you have people who feel like that and then you have people who do it because they want to pipe themselves up but you're not even like that like if you fuck with somebody or talking to somebody it's genuine it's genuine Right? And people can't even believe it because they're so used to other people who may look like you, may may act like you, or fucking have money like you, or dress like you, or, or status like you. And they treat, they used to them, people like that, treat them like shit, or treating people not like them like shit. And then they meet you and they're like, yo, what the fuck is this? You get what I'm saying? Like, that, they, why are you not treating me like shit? And you're like, I don't even think of myself like that. I don't even think of myself better than you. For what? Because I'm pretty? Like, I'm going to be pretty whether I choose to, just a word, spirit, you do it. I'm gonna be pretty whether I use, whether I choose to treat you like a human being or not. So I'm still gonna be a pretty girl, even if I choose to be nice to you in this moment. I'm still gonna be a pretty girl, even if I choose to be nice to you in the moment. I'm still gonna be a a, a handsome man. You get what I'm saying? So me being any meaner to you is not gonna make me any more attractive, and me being any meaner to you is not gonna make me any less attractive. So why be mean? You did nothing to me, and that's exactly how you think, and that's why people are attracted to you, right? So the last, um, your last, the two last cards out is you cannot heal a wound by saying it's not there. So you're very much easy to communicate. So people are attracted to you because it's easy to talk to you. Like they feel like if they have an issue or something like that, they can bring it up. If you want, I'm not gonna say you're perfect, but I'm saying you at least hear them out. And even if you do get upset at first, like you understand that everybody should have a say and stuff like that. Going back to the treating people like like equal, like you feel you don't people don't feel like they can't say nothing to you. And the most attractive thing is having somebody that you can kick it with and be yourself with and, and have fun with and that's what you have part number three and your last card is stop saying yes to shit you hate so what makes you attractive you have a boundary so even though you are this kind free loving caring person you still set boundaries and know and know how to say no and know to do know to only deal with people who make you feel good about yourself know to only deal with people who treat you the way you treat them and that is very that's what makes you very much attractive power number three but with that being said that is your reading i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a, a free reading make sure you guys leave your red hearts down below i will be giving out another free reading at 70 at 40 at 4700 subscribers and with that being said thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next reading i'm super proud of my pals i'm super proud of all you guys because i feel like all this like, i thought it was gonna be some oh you are fat ass and shit like that but it was really a good about personality and you guys are really working on yourself and healing yourself and i am proud of you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow or i'll see you guys in the morning matter of fact bye